I think it was called the BCH DevCon 3. I'm getting a little ahead of myself here. So the very first hackathon, I was trying to do the um, IOZ a candy machine mimic, and I was using an uh, ESP8266, little microcontroller. Um, you can program them with the Arduino software. And didn't really get anywhere with that. The deadline came to submit, and the most I could do is I could get the light on the, on the microcontroller to blink. So cool, an action is happening. You send it a Bitcoin transaction and something's happening, but it didn't, it wasn't what I wanted to happen. So I spent a couple more months outside of the hackathon just trying to make it work. And I eventually got to a point where I, I purchased a 3D printer, uh, also figured out just enough to make like a shell of a candy machine and uh, ended up essentially giving a demo to my sisters and being like, hey, you know, they're very young. Here's a, here's a candy machine that we can have in the house. And uh, my plan was like, if I could get them to do some chores around the house, I'll give them a little allowance in Bitcoin cash and then they can go and use it on the candy, ma candy machine and then I get that back and it, it, shit gets done. But um, I, I moved out not too long after, so little here and there. But I participated in hackathons since then and every time I felt like I was getting a little uh, more, yeah, a little more experienced, a little better. I could communicate uh, with people a little better. So I started actually collaborating with people. So that first one I did just alone. The second one I did with um, a guy named Christian and uh, someone that I know in real life named Nick. And we had made a point of sale system for spice tokens, which were, I think, one of the original and most popular SLP tokens on uh, Bitcoin Cash. And we just set it up so that it was a web page and, and kind of like the Bitcoin.com cash register app where you just give a payout address and it shows you the uh, like real time conversion rates. So people just say like, oh, the price of this thing is, you know, 25 Canadian dollars. And then it would show the price in spice tokens, give you a QR code and you could pay for things that way. That quickly got abandoned. Like as soon as the hackathon was over, people were like, nah, nah. We're not gonna do this anymore. So the very last hackathon that I took part in uh, was uh, Coin Toys. So it was the, uh, I worked with a, a team of people from Texas and the problem statement was like, okay, you have online sex workers who are getting maybe 30% of their overall gross income in their, in their pocket because the, the processors, the websites were taking anywhere from 60 to 70%. And so what if we just had a way that they could bypass all of that? And so using the same kind of Arduino approach, we, we built a little circuit that uh, would activate uh, a vibrator if someone sent a Bitcoin cash transaction to it. And then we were like, okay, well, what if we made you know, a threshold like limits do different things. 